If you've clicked on this video, you might be having a bit of issue getting your hyperlinks to work in your dialog bars or your sidebars. In this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. So first off, what's going on? Let's close this up. So if I click on my sidebar example over here, and I try and click on a website, you can see that I'm not being directed in a separate tab. And the same is true if I jump into my dialogues and try and click. So if I hit F12 to get into my Google Chrome developer tools, and I click on, for example, the website, you can see that we've got a error warning popping up here. Now, essentially that's telling us that what we're trying to do is unsafe and the browser is trying to block us from doing something that could be a bit dubious. So why is this occurring? Well, your sidebar and dialog boxes are all set in iframes in Google Sheets or Google Docs or Google Forms or whatever a Google Workspace software that you're using to produce them. So let me show you, for example. So if I click on this little select element to inspect and I try and gather the outer element here and just dive down a couple layers, probably this one here, you can see that we've got an iframe here. If you've worked with iframes before, you probably already realize the answer to the problem. So the same is also true. If we go to the dialog box, we click, we get the same answer. Let's try and dive in and find this dialog box, which is about here. Open that up. Second one it should be. And you can see again another iframe. Cool. All right, so we know what the problem is. Let's quickly solve it. All right, let's head over to our code, which we've gone from extensions and app scripts and headed over to our code. And we'll click on the home menu uh, where we have our dialog box and sidebar HTML. And all we need to do is add in target equals underscore blank. Now I'm going to add this onto the other links as well. So I'm just going to select that with the space, hit control C and control V, control V. Control V, Control V, and Control V. Hit Control S to save. Okay, and I'm gonna close this sidebar. Let's get rid of the developer tools. And now let's select our sidebar. And if we click on website, we can see that my website opened successfully. And if we hit F12, do we get an error? So let's just clear this out and let's hit YouTube. And was there an error? There's no error here in our developer tools. Excellent. And straight to my YouTube channel. No worries. Let's check this dialog box out. And let's try Twitter. Straight to Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And everything's working out fine. Okay, so that's it. All you need to do is add target equals in double quotation marks underscore blank, and this will open up into a new tab in most cases, depending on the user's browser settings. Sometimes it might open up into a new window if they've set their browser that way. There's more information about using links in sidebars and dialog boxes in the description below, along with this sample Google Sheet for you to play along with that has a couple of good Easter eggs in there and some extra interesting linking tools if you have a look at the uh, Yagi-san Atade link up in the top left. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click that like button. And if you want to see more like this or get these tutorials out to other people, please hit that notification bell. It really helps with the algorithm. Until next time.